atomic spectra here this atomic spectra already we know here each and every particle or uh, this uh, uh, electrons uh, electrons revolving around the nucleus and uh, these particles radiates some electromagnetic radiations okay this can uh, release the radiations these uh, radiations are uh, electromagnetic radiations and uh, this will have some particular wavelengths of the uh, particular wavelengths of the lines this can emit some particular lines uh, then these are called uh, emission spectra emission spectra for example if these electrons are exiting from one uh, level to another level then they can uh, observe they have to take some energy that means they can observe the energy and excite it to another level then that is called uh, absorption spectra here this atomic spectra has a uh, different uh, lines and uh, for everything it has a particular uh, particular values here uh, this absorption spectra here for example this is the line here in this uh, absorption spectra spectral lines are forming and uh, this is a uh, 686 and uh, 686 uh, nanometers and uh, this is the 1875 nanometers this is the Parchan series this is Parchan series and uh, these are the limits for the Parchan series and uh, if you take a uh, uh, these are the emission spectra and uh, this line is at uh, for example started with a uh, uh, 91 nanometers and uh, this is a uh, 122 nanometers like this uh, this is called a uh, Lyman series and uh, here this is a uh, again increasing the wavelength here we'll get a uh, Balmer series these are the different uh, spectral series we will get now we'll study about the spectral series here uh, this uh, spectral series spectral series this uh, spectral series is studied by the 1885 uh, in the year 1885 Johann Jacob Balmer studied the spectral series of the hydrogen atom yeah, here this uh, Jacob uh, Balmer given empirical formula for studying this uh, spectral series he given the empirical formula that is a uh, 1 by lambda is equal to this 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by 2 square minus 1 by n square where n is equal to 3 4 5 and so on here this uh, r is called a uh, rydberg constant rydberg constant this r is called a uh, rydberg constant and uh, this r is equal to having a value constant value 1.097 into 10 power minus uh, 10 power 7 meter inverse this is the rydberg constant and uh, he observed the spectral series for the hydrogen atom and uh, this is the empirical formula here if we take uh, n is equal to 3 if we take n is equal to 3 then he got a wavelength uh, which has a wavelength that is a uh, 686 uh, nanometer 686.3 nanometers this is a uh, h alpha line this is called a uh, h alpha line that is in the red color he observed this uh, spectral series in the visible region the 683.3 nanometers he observed in the red uh, uh, red color and uh, in the h beta line this h beta line he observed in the 480 uh, 482.1 nanometers this observed in the blue green region blue green region and uh, next uh, he observed this uh, again this h gamma in the 410.2 nanometers and uh, like that uh, he got a uh, 
h infinity h infinity if we substitute this uh, n is equal to infinity then uh, he got uh, h infinity that is a uh, 364 nanometer here this is the least wavelength that he observed that he observed uh, in the Balmer series this series is called a uh, Balmer series of the spectral line spectral series here these are the different uh, lines if we take this uh, different uh, lines that means uh, different uh, spectrum if we take then this is the h alpha line here this is the h alpha line and next to uh, if we go then this is the h beta line here this is the h beta line and uh, here it is a uh, h gamma line here this is a uh, H infinity line. These are the spectral series. And uh, here, if we take this uh, H alpha, H beta, H gamma, H infinity, then when we, uh, when the wave